Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching for another Sunday chat. I'm calling this chat um, Sunday Chat Hot Mess Edition because <laughs> y'all, we're going to talk about it this week, but I look a hot mess. I feel a hot mess. It's been a long week and you know what could, like I was sitting down like thinking what I wanted to share about and it's like, you know what possibly could I share about this week because it feels like everything has gone wrong. Um, as I'm filming this right now, I have two children that are being crazy. <laughs> One of them is almost two. He's supposed to be taking a nap right now, but he keeps getting woken up because I have a nine-year-old that has autism who is very energetic and he's just loud and he doesn't let him take a nap. So we're all supposed to be having quiet time. We'll see how this goes. I was going to get ready and like put put it together for this video, like set up my tripod, all of it. But then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it like I am because I've worn this same hoodie or sweater like all week. It would be a sham if I try to look like I was put together, y'all. So what I want to talk about this week, what I've been thinking about is weariness. That is 100% how I feel right now. I am weary. Like, I am tired. I think a lot of us are tired of this whole COVID thing. I'm tired of masks. I'm tired of people being sick. I'm tired of school being canceled. I'm tired of all of it, you know? And I, like, you know, at first it was hard, you know, when everything shut down back in 2020. We had just had a baby. Our whole life was in upheaval anyway, and then throw on top of it, the kids being at home all the time and none of us leaving the house and being scared to even go to the grocery store and all of it, you know, that was really hard. But this is even harder. Like two years later, we are still in the thick of it and it's still really hard for everybody and school's crazy and, you know, my kids are having to wear masks on the playground even and like Lucy keeps crying to me like, I'm so tired of masks, I just hate it, you know. And, you know, it just feels like the end is never coming. And we had virtual learning this week and it was hard. Like, I'm not going to say it wasn't. It was hard. I felt like everything that I had in my mind that I wanted to get done didn't really get done in the way I wanted it to. My, my whole week was kind of pushed aside and what I needed to get done was pushed aside for the kids, which was fine. But it was just like one of those times I was just praying this morning and, you know, I was like, you know, God, I'm tired. Like, I'm just weary. It feels like nothing is going to change. Like, we're going to be in this forever. And it kind of reminded me of like when I had babies and, you know, they would be up in the night and crying and you're constantly sleep deprived and you just feel like it's never going to end. Like, they are never going to go to sleep. But one day they did, you know, it, it didn't last forever. It was a season. And I think this is a season too, but I think we're all weary. We are weary. We are weary. We are weary. That is the word of my week. I am weary. And the Bible doesn't say that it's not, you know, you shouldn't be weary. It doesn't say that. Like, I think weariness is a human condition. Like, we get tired, you know, our bodies are tired. And that's how I feel. I just feel not physically tired, just mentally tired this week. And, you know, we're all cooped in because it's cold outside. We can't go out and do anything. And it's really easy to let yourself get depressed and to like have a pity party. It really is. I like, I feel that today. Do you guys, do you guys get how strongly like I feel that? And I could lean into that today. It's hard. And so I was just thinking like, well, what does the Bible say about weariness? Because if you like, if it was like one of those, like, if you could put a sign over my head of like what I'm thinking, it would be weariness. Like I just feel weary. So the Bible says in Matthew 11, sorry, Matthew 11, 28, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I love how the Bible doesn't say, just stop being weary, you know, just get over it. <laughs> it just says, bring it to God. And he is somebody that can do something about your weariness. And it says he will give you rest. And that is what I need mentally and physically. We need rest. And so I don't know if this helps anyone else. I don't know if you all feel this way, but it's just been a lot over the last couple of years. It's been a lot. We've moved twice in the last two years. Um, you know, 
we've had a newborn slash then a baby and now a toddler, you know, where David's in a new job. And, you know, we had last year, we had a job um, that we thought was going to be amazing. And it turned out that the church had to close, which all was good things because it led us to where we are now. And we are so blessed and we are so thankful. But we've had a lot and it weighs on you. All of those things weigh on you. And there is no one in this world that can fix it. But Jesus, like he can give you rest for your weariness and we are not meant to walk in weariness, but it, but it's not a wrong feeling to have. Um, and if you put it in the right place, um, you can find peace for that. Also, I think what helps me anyway is number one, to make sure I'm taking care of myself to make sure that I am getting rest. Um, do you guys, I maybe do a whole nother Sunday chat on this, but we love the new movie Encanto. Like we've been jamming to all the songs and the surface pressure one. I have never related to a song more than this. Like just the constant pressure you feel to get everything done and to be the best at everything and to be strong and nobody ever see you be weak. And you know, constantly feeling like you're not good enough. You got to try harder. You got to do more. I think all of us moms feel like that. Like, like, and, and not even just moms, like it's society now. Like you're not busy. You're not doing it right. You know, you need to have something to do all the time, but we also need to realize that rest is important too. God says in the Bible that on the seventh day he rested. Does God need to rest? No, but I think he was showing us that the importance of rest, like you cannot do stuff all day long. You need rest. You're human and you need to recharge whatever that means for you. If it's a bubble bath, if it's going to bed early, if it's just sitting on your couch and doing nothing, that's not lazy. That's okay. If it's a whole day, you need to spend just resting. Fine. Like I think we need to stop thinking we're somehow failures if we need rest. So Anyway, that, that's something that definitely helps. But then the other thing is to think on good things. You know, I love the verse in the Bible, Philippians 4, 8, that says, whatever is good, whatever is noble, whatever is just, all of these things, think on those things. If we have the news blaring 24 seven, and we're thinking of all the terrible things that are happening in the world, and we're constantly focusing on all of the bad stuff, it is really easy to feel down and depressed. Um, what I like to do when I'm feeling like this is I just mentally start listing all the things that are going right. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that's going wrong, <laughs> like a bunch of stuff. I could list that list, but then it would put me in a really bad place. So now let's list the things that are good. You know, look at this amazing house God has blessed us with. Look at my family who is healthy. You know, it can be as silly as look at this really good cup of coffee that just feels so comforting right now. Anything, um, it can be really healthy to take that list. It, even if it's just a mental list, I just do it in my mind. It's good to write it down too, because then you can go back and look at it. But those things, if you think on the good things, if you think on how God's helped you in the past, if you think on, you know, your family and your friends and all of the things that you have in your life, clothing, food, all the things we take for granted, it will put you in a better place. I'm telling you. Another thing I like to do when I feel this way is, and I feel like sometimes I'm like, God, I can't pray. Like, I don't know what to pray. I just feel like, I don't know what to say. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm stressed. There was a moment today, y'all. I'm not kidding where I was so frustrated with all of it. I, in the moment was just like, God, I can't, I don't know what else to do. Like I help me, you know, but I don't know what else to say besides that. If you feel like you don't know what to pray, Put on some praise and worship music and that like feeds your soul and it will put you in a better place. It really will. And it will give you words to pray. Like a lot of times when I don't know what to pray, I sing a song or I'll think of a song and then listen to it. And that really does help too. So I know that things are going to get better. I know that. And I know a lot of people have had it way worse than me. There are people who have lost loved ones who are, who are very sick themselves and all of our thoughts and prayers go to them for sure. But, um, you know, it's not, it's not like if you haven't had those things that it has it also been hard. I think everybody's had a hard time and we're all a little weary. So be kind to yourself, um, rest 
and give it to God. And he promises that if you will give your worries and your weariness to him, that he will give you rest. And that's what I'm praying for all of you this week going forward is that you get rest, that you stop trying to do everything and just choose um, peace for your life. So I'm going to say a quick prayer for y'all and we're going to end this video. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for my friends that are watching this, God. I don't know about them, but I am feeling super weary this week, Jesus. I am just feeling so done with all of it, like all of the stuff. God, I know that you want peace for my life. I know that you want to give me rest. And I just pray that you would fill my heart with that peace, God, that you would give me that rest. And when I, when I get tempted to think of all the bad things, that you would help me and remind me of all of the good blessings, God. And I just pray for everyone out there who's going through a hard time, that you would just drop the weariness off of their heart, God, and fill them with peace and joy and love. I love them so much, God. I know you love them even more. I just pray that they would have a blessed week full of rest and full of joy. We praise you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. I love you so much. My kids are still, one of them being loud and one of them not napping. But you know what? Like, they're happy. <laughs> they're healthy. They may be a little cranky, especially the one that's not napping. But, you know this too shall pass. And mamas, if you've been doing virtual learning, I'm with y'all. We've made it to the weekend. If you're watching this this weekend, one day at a time, one moment at a time. Don't overthink it. One assignment at a time, one day at a time, and we're going to get through this. This is a season. And if you're up with babies right now and you feel like you're never going to sleep, I promise you, you will. I promise you one day you will. I love you guys so much. If you like these videos and you want to see more like them, make sure you give this vlog Sunday chat a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see y'all later.